NASA reveals shocking finds using James Webb Space Telescope. It was a Christmas morning gift to humanity. At 7.20 a.m. Eastern Time on December 25, 2021, spectators at the Guiana Space Center in Kourou, French Guiana, and all over the planet watched in wonder as the spectacular James Webb Space Telescope was finally launched into space. Nothing in human history has been created to reach further back in time and allow us to get a glimpse of our origins like Webb. It is indeed the closest thing we have to a time machine, and the goal of thousands of people who dedicated their careers to this project is nothing less than taking baby pictures of the cosmos. And now we have our first ones. Welcome to Tech Rumor. In today's video, we take our initial look through this wonder that is Webb and start sticking our newest photographs into humanity's scrapbook. So much has gone into this very moment. So buckle up and let's dive right in. Mirror, mirror out in space. Three decades and $10 billion went into this literal jewel, which was originally slated to launch in 2007, but who's counting? Then there was launch, always a time of frayed nerves, and nothing, seriously, nothing NASA has ever tried on an unmanned mission has been this complicated. Engineers counted 344 single point of failure items, most involving deployment, that absolutely had to work or you have an incredibly expensive piece of space junk on your hands. For humanity's time machine to tell us what we want to know and undoubtedly raise new and exciting questions, so many tiny details must work right. But make no mistake, it all starts with the mirror. Calling it a jewel is hardly a figure of speech. The entire 21.3 foot span of the mirror is covered with just over 48 grams of a microscopically thin layer of gold, which is perfect for optimizing reflections of infrared light. How much gold had to be excavated from the ground to cover this giant? The volume of a marble or five men's wedding rings. That's how thin this gold covering is. This engineering marvel is the composite of 18 hexagonal segments, all powered by seven pistons and actuators, able to move each segment in seven different angles. The end result? Images that we can hardly even imagine. Getting to this point, much like the whole endeavor, takes an incredible amount of patience. Each mirror must be aligned first by centimeters and then incrementally smaller until the adjustments are literally microscopic. Less than one ten thousandth the width of a human hair. Smaller than a virus. Picture 126 tiny little motors, each with its own specific job of making sure all 18 segments are perfectly in position to explore the origins of the universe. Now picture moving exactly one of them at a time, and designed to reduce complexity and ensure the safety of the mirror by focusing on a lone movement. If the day's to-do list calls for moving the web mirror by a single millimeter, better pack a lunch, it's an all-day job. Astronomers spent weeks after launch getting ready for their preliminary shots, just wanting to know that light is getting through the telescope and to the instruments. Not yet Picasso, but a mark on the canvas to be sure all is in working order, so far. First star I see tonight. Webb reached its orbital point, L2, on January 24th, and has been chilling ever since. It must. For the entire system to work properly, its temperature must drop to a cool negative 388 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 233 degrees Celsius. Astronomers had years to decide on the first vision this $10 billion eyepiece will see, and chose a rather nondescript target honoree named HD84406 a sun-like star about 260 light-years away. This star is in Ursa Major's tail and has the perfect brilliance, and some other perks, like staying in Webb's field of view long enough for the precise optical alignments, and residing in a desolate region of space with little visible in the background. The mission was twofold. Ensure NIR cam is ready to receive light, and then identify starlight from HD84406 in each of the 18 gold-plated mirrors. The process began on February 2nd and lasted almost 25 hours. Webb was repointed into 156 different positions around where the target star should have been. In six hours, all 18 mirrors had located the lucky star. So, how did Webb do? This initial search covered an area about the size of the full moon because the segment dots could potentially have been that spread out in the sky, reports Marshall Perrin, astronomer and deputy telescope scientist for the Webb mission, who also noted the need for all of Webb's science operations as well as terrestrial data processing systems to work. We found light from all 18 segments very near the center early in that search. This is a great starting point for mirror alignment. So, how did Webb do? Brilliantly, actually. 
Though the first images will hardly be displayed in art museums around the world, they're blurry, just as the team expected, but each of the 18 hexagonal mirrors reflected starlight from HD 84406 back into Webb's small secondary mirrors and into its near-infrared camera, or NIR cam. Webb captured 1,560 images in 25 hours, and they are merged into a blurry mosaic that still has astronomers giddy with excitement. After all, which steps are more exciting than baby steps? It has now opened its eyes. No one expects their newborn to write poetry, run a marathon, or cure cancer. At least, not at first. So we celebrate baby steps, opening eyes, focusing on a face, or grasping a finger as signs that all is well, and the best is yet to come. And no one is prouder of their bouncing baby telescope than the optics team at NASA. This amazing telescope has not only spread its wings, but it has now opened its eyes, said a starstruck Lee Feinberg, James Webb Optical Elements Manager. The only thing I want to caution is that it's still very early. We don't have detailed evaluations of everything at this point, but from our preliminary evaluations, everything is matching the models as well as we would expect models to work at this point. So a clean bill of health, so far. Not nearly so important, but a reminder that we are indeed in 2022, Webb did not miss the opportunity to take its very first selfie. Perhaps it was vanity. Yes, you can hardly claim to be a legitimate tourist from Earth if you have not snapped even one selfie and Webb can now make that claim. An image of the mirrors themselves shows one hexagonal segment being much brighter than the others, which is due to it being pointed at a bright star while the other mirrors were in different alignments. A special lens inside an IR cam that is primarily for engineering and alignment took the pick, so it was a surprise bonus for the team. Are we there yet? What lies immediately ahead for the mission team is the excruciatingly slow but still exciting process of gradual mirror adjustments that will make the 18 images blend into a single shining star. How slow? Try several weeks. In fact, NASA is targeting April 24th as the day that James Webb Space Telescope will have its marvelous mirrors fully aligned. This will mark four months almost to the day that Webb has been in space, and by then it needs to be cold. Remember that chilling we mentioned a few minutes back? Thankfully, there's the five-layer tennis court-sized sunshine to protect the enormous mirror and sensitive instrumentation from the sun. Images will become clearer as the mirrors get colder, and the temperature will continue to drop for the next few months. Infrared background noise is suppressed at this temperature, and this is crucial for Webb to be able to get past the clutter and pull the curtain back on the earliest days of the universe. So it's April 24th and the mirrors are fully aligned and ready. Can we now start some actual science? Not yet. Each of the four incredibly complex and intricately linked instruments on board the Mid-Infrared Instrument, MIRI, the Near-Infrared Camera, NIR Cam, the Near-Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph slash Fine Guidance Sensor, NIR, ISS slash FGS, and the Near-Infrared Spectrograph, NIR Spec, must be calibrated and tested in each of their many operational modes. This sequence lasts over two months, and then by late June, if every single thing works properly, or perhaps later in the summer if it doesn't, we will begin our unprecedented search of the farthest reaches of space and time and peer into the beginnings of our universe. Then, knock on wood, humanity will have the first of many years of opportunities to peer back in space and time and answer questions we have asked since our ancestors wondered about the stars from the entrances of caves. With an eye 100 times more powerful than Hubble, Webb is expected to increase our understanding of the universe and our place in it in ways we cannot imagine. So, what do you think about Webb and its first pictures from space? Are you counting the days until, with any luck, late June, when we begin seeing what promises to be truly remarkable images? And is there any one thing you hope that Webb will tell humanity that we have never had the opportunity to know? Tell us in the comments, and as always, thank you for watching TechRumor.